hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we will learn how we can create a report to know all the checked out file from SharePoint site so you can have one document library or you can have many document library but there is no easy way as of now to know if the users are checking out file and they are not checking in back so with this approach that I'm going to show you you will be able to get a report for all the checked out file who checked out the file and other information so stay tuned okay so the first thing this is my SharePoint site I have many document library here and I'll show you as you can see okay and I need to know that which all users are checking out the files so that I can easily either tell them that the files are checked out or I can take an action on that so if I go to one document library you can see some files are checked out and similarly other library okay as of now there is no easy way for you to actually know this information either you need to write a PowerShell script or you need to go library by library and then see if the files are checked out okay so what we're going to do so we are going to use power automate to help us to create this report okay so i'm going to log into my power automate okay click create you can have this power automate flow as a scheduled flow or automated if you want for this demo i'm going to keep it manual click create okay so the first step that we need to go to that library on which we are trying to create this report and extract all the files okay so SharePoint get items I'm gonna select my site address okay here it's saying list name and generally it's gonna only show you the SharePoint list but because we are working on the document library you will select enter custom value and then you will copy the name of your document library that you want to work on okay and just paste it here one thing also you can do because you know this is only gonna to bring top to 100 item you can go to the settings here and you can increase the number of items that you want to get just in case click done so this will give me all the documents that i want okay now the next step is we need to find out out of all these files how many or which all are checked out so what we're going to do we're going to use the filter query right and what we are filtering we are filtering the result that we got and if you go to the next step all the way down there is a column called checked out okay this will let it's gonna let me know whether the file is checked out or no so if I go to this choose value expression type true okay so what I'm saying here out of the entire set of information that we get from get items filter only where checked out is true so what this will do this will give us the only file those are checked out pretty simple pretty straightforward right okay now the next step what we're gonna do we're gonna send this or create a report out of this information correct so next i'm going to say create html table because what we are trying to do we are trying to get the information from filter array creating an html table and then sending it in an email okay from the output of filter array choose the body okay click show advanced option instead of automatic column creation i'm going to click custom because this way i can create my own column okay so to understand that what column name we are getting let's run this see the result and then we will select what or column we want to have in our html table okay so i'm going to click save and we are going to test it you will get this warning because this is the warning that get items can use the large query so for now i'm going to ignore it test continue run flow okay so let's see in filter array so this is the result after filtering and only getting the checked out file right so what i want from this the checked out user so i need an email for the checked out user so we're going to use this particular column then we also need the file name with extension so this is going to give me the file name with full extension and i'm going to use the link so for now i'm using these three columns you can use any other columns that you, that is useful for you okay so go back to edit okay create html table so file name how we are going to get the file name we're going to say item so this will give me the current item question mark single quotes 
and inside this we are going to use the column name now remember one thing this column name has the curly bracket so use them okay click okay the second one i'm going to use checked out to similarly i'm going to item question mark single quotes and in this case the column name is checked out user but the checked out user is the combination of the various things so email display name and all other things what i need is the email so i'm going to put again this thing and email okay so this will give me the email of the checked out user and the last one is the link item okay and link also have the curly so make sure that you have that click ok click save so now we have our html table ready i'm going to add one more thing because this is the html table so what we can also do we can format that table with before sending it in the email it's pretty easy click compose and i'm going to use the simple styling for the table again this is a very simple html styling that you can use i'll paste it in the comment section if you want to copy this exactly like this but you can use your own, your own styling okay this part is done go to next tab send email okay as of now i'm seen sending it to myself and here in the body section you don't need to do much thing the first thing i will add my css style that is here and then second i'll put my table save and we're going to test it okay so if you get this error that means when you add a new action like we added this outlook we cannot test it from the previous one what we need to do go to manual then it's going to check all the connections ask you to verify them and then continue so don't worry if you get that error okay so i got this email well formatted i have all the file those are checked out who is checked out to currently they are all checked out to me and linked to the file okay pretty simple now the second question we are targeting only one document library at this point of time. If you want to run it across your entire site, how you will do that, okay? Let's try that as well. So if you want to get this information for your entire site, all the document library, the first thing that we need to do, we need to get all the document library from SharePoint. So again, SharePoint, there is an action called get list and libraries. Okay, here you only need to select the site address. So I'm going to select my site address here. This will give me all the list and library, but I don't want all the list. The only thing I want is the library. So let me save it and show you because there is a type that you're going to get in response with this action. The type 101 is for library, 100 for list. So you got the response. You see the type 100, this is the list. And if I go to library, 101. So what we need to do, once we get the response, we need to filter this response again and filter only for the library. So I'll do the filter array. Okay, so filter array, we will use the value that is coming from my get list and library. What we are filtering on, go to expression, item, question mark. We had this column called type. Okay, so that's what we are filtering on, equal to. And here you need to go to the expression, use a string and then use 101 okay save it now this action will give me a library but exclude the list okay after this what we need to do we were using this get items right so instead of hard coding the name of the library what we're going to use we're going to use the name of the library that we are getting from previous action this one and here you go this loop is going to go through each library that you have and what you can do afterward you can just do the same option that you did here and get all the files from across all the library okay so filter array we're gonna just do the same thing okay what we are comparing is checked out equals to expression true then add another action for create html table we are creating table from this one so body okay so very similar what we have done for the single hard-coded library same thing we're going to create html table we don't need this one anymore okay we added the styling here and the final one is the email and here i'm going to use this compose 2 
and my create HTML to output. Click save. Okay, let's save it and we're gonna run it. So now this flow will get all the library, go through each of them, get all the checked out file and it's gonna send the email to me. So I have around 17 library. It's going through each and every library, checking if there's a file, checked out file and sending me an email and I'm actually receiving some emails already. Okay, so flow completed. I receive all the emails for which the files are checked out. You can also add some more checks. So for example, if if the if this filter array where you're filtering to get all the checked out file, if this is empty, then do not send email and all the other check that you can do, right? But this method can help you to know if the files are checked out, you can schedule it for weekly or whichever time you want and you can regularly start getting these information so you can contact the person if files are being checked out for longer duration okay yeah that's all for this video very simple but very useful approach go ahead and try it thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you